What it is, YouTube, it's your boy RJ the Grinder, man. I'm back with a video for y'all, man. Been going for a minute. I think it's time to go ahead and get the ball rolling again. We took care of some stuff. That's not important right now. We'll talk about that a little later, at a later date. But uh, as you can see by the title, today we're here because I want to show you guys my 2021 gun collection. All right, a lot of people have been hitting me up, asking me to go ahead and get it out there. Go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna do it for y'all. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell, hit the like button, and uh, let's do this thing, man. We almost at 1K. Once I get to 1K, we will be doing a $100 giveaway, man. All right? A $100 giveaway for 1K, man. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at RJ the Grinder. okay? Look, we're gonna start it off like this, I guess, man. Um, I'm gonna probably do, uh, we're gonna do it by budget. So <clears throat> we're gonna do um, cheapest to most expensive. Um, you know what, no, we're not gonna do cheapest to most expensive. We're gonna do, uh, let's do, um, start off with pistols first. And um, I'm gonna start off with, um, this is my uh, Taurus. This is the G2C, taking the mag out. All right, let's do a safety check. The weapon is not loaded, as you can see. But yeah, man, this is my Jewish, my tours G2C. Um, I really wasn't a big fan of nine millimeter for the longest, man. Um, but when it comes to uh, going to the range and, and you know target practicing and stuff like that, man, nine millimeter is definitely the way to go. I have also recently, you know, found myself carrying this a little more often. Um, I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, I have had little problems with it since I had it um, as far as um, not really jamming. I think it was, I'm lying, it was a failure to feed once. It's a failure to feed once. Um, I actually had dropped the magazine from it and went to, uh, cock it back to eject the round in the chamber and it wouldn't cock back so I had to do some crazy stuff to go ahead and get it out but what I do like about this thing is man um I like the grip I love the grip the grip feels so good in here it's just something about when you put this thing in your hand man it feels so good um also if you look they got the little uh spots for you to, well that would be for my thumb because I'm right handed but you know the little finger stuff uh spots or whatever for you to um, rush your finger at if you're about to shoot like that one for your thumb um so i do like that about this thing um it comes with uh two i believe 12 round magazines um i have big hands so you can see at the bottom there man my, my pinky kind of slips off as i showed you guys it's not loaded all right it's on safety okay put the mag in and now I don't have that problem I have a nice flush plate to go ahead and uh, rest my pinky on so that's that man that's my Taurus G2C um, next I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go with my uh, Springfield XD this too is chambered in 9mm nothing in the magazine nothing in the chamber whatsoever she is safe All right. Um, this thing, man, I love it. I love it. It's, uh, in my opinion, uh, a lot better built than the G2C is. Um, I haven't had any hiccups or anything with this. I honestly have nothing bad to say about um, the Springfield. Um, Springfield's a, a, a definitely, definitely a good sturdy gun. Um, let me know what y'all think. Y'all prefer. Springfield, Taurus, Glock, Beretta, whatever it is, man. Let me know what y'all favorite uh, brand is, make, model, you know. I'm interested, I wanna know these things. But um, yeah, I had this uh, for a little bit now. Um, definitely uh, one of my go-to guns for the range and things like that. So uh, yeah, 
I do have an upcoming range day plan where you know, I'm definitely going to uh, record for you guys. So um, we're going to be letting some of these things go. All right. But yeah, that's that's the Springfield XD. Uh, little subcompact. I like that. Haven't carried this yet. I don't think I'm going to. I think it's just going to stay in the collection. I'm not really that worried about carrying that. Next up, the most notorious, my personal favorite out of all my handguns. I think y'all know what's time for this and what it is. It is my Glock 29, chambered in 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, this is my baby here, man. This, this, this is my baby, I love this gun. I do, I really do. Um, if you watch my uh, home defense video that I've done, um, you know, uh, I talked about this. I also did another video on why I chose to carry this. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you go check them out. Um, now, for this, I do have some toys. You know, it comes with, uh, let's see, two 10-round uh, magazines. I put the uh, Pierce Grips um, extensions on the bottom of them. So it gives you an extra two rounds, so 12 rounds in each mag and then I also uh, have the 30 round ETS mag for you know I take this to the range and I play with it might even give you all a mag dump at a thousand rounds so uh I'm a thousand rounds a thousand subscribers talk crazy give y'all a little mag dump and um yeah man ETS, a lot of people don't really like the ETS mags. I haven't had a problem with this thing once since I purchased it. So, um, you're looking to get any extendos, ETS, man, ETS is the way to go. All right, that's that. All right, um, next up, I'm gonna go with, let's do, my Silver Eagle RZ-17 Tactical 12 gauge shotgun. All right, try to get it in here so y'all can see it. Um, if you notice, it has uh, a handle on it. It almost has a look to it, like it, like it could be an AR or M16, something like that. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool when I got it. And believe it or not, guys, these things are actually pretty cheap. They're not that expensive at all. Uh, I like the stock on it. Um, good stock. It has a little chin thing here, for some thing for you to place your chin on, which I don't use. So I just keep that thing down like that. Another feature that this thing has with it is it has uh, automatic um, forward spring in it. So if I pump it back, all you gotta do just let it go, and it automatically shoots itself forward. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, turn it this way so you guys can see that red uh, dot sight it has on it um, that's pretty cool I like that um, this is definitely definitely um, be one of my go-to weapons um, you know in the case I ever have to use it for home defense or something like that uh, I know I said that I would definitely go to the Glock 29, which, yeah, and that I would go to my uh, rifle, but um, it's just something about this 12 gauge, man. I've been falling in love with this thing, man. So, uh, leave a link, I mean, shoot, leave a comment down in the description, man, if you definitely want to see me let this thing off at the uh, at the range, man, so we can make that happen for y'all. Like I said, she 12 gauge, man. She, uh, I believe she holds five rounds. Yeah, she's five rounds, whole five rounds in the tube here. And, um, kick's not that bad. It's my baby. This is my baby. And, um, let's get Next, I have my all-time favorite, for obvious reasons. My AR-15. And that's right. You definitely see the double drum on it, holding 100 rounds. Um, this is, man, this thing is just so much fun. Uh, going to the range with it, just definitely, uh, 
percentage shots down target, man, like down range. Um, it, it's, it's 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 fun, man. This thing got some weight to it too, man. When you uh you put that hundred round drum in her, she she she's a little heavy. I mean, it's nothing we can't handle, you know. Uh, also, you know, I have plenty of thirty round mags. I have ten round magazines, and um, I also have a sixty round mag that I like stuffing in her sometimes, taking her to the range and letting her go. But yeah, man. Um, this is the Armalite um, chambered in five five six. Uh, it's my baby. It's my baby. All my guns are my babies. Um, I do want to say that you know I'm not an expert in firearms, um, so definitely do your own research on firearms and things like that. Definitely be safe with handling them. Uh, make sure you have a safe, a gun safe for your weapons. If you have multiple weapons, if you have kids, even if you have one gun in the home, at least try to uh, buy yourself um, a lock to lock the gun in the open position so that. You know, we don't have any accidents and things like that. Um, like I said, man, we almost at 1K. Definitely want y'all to get me there. Um, smash the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the uh, dislike button. Um, the feedback is, is much appreciated and, you know, it is what it is. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching. I do have a surprise coming up for y'all um, within the next couple days, so stay on the lookout for that. I want to thank all my supporters for sticking with me, you know, through my little absence, you know, for me being gone, not really being here like that. Um, had some personal things, you know, me and Allie been taken care of, so uh, we're about to get back on the on the ball with uh, vlogging and and things like that, man. Just being here for y'all. Thank you so much for all the support to the channel, for all my true riders, you know, um, for the ones that I lost. Thank y'all, too. Um, make sure, like I said, y'all follow me on Instagram, man, RJ the Grinder. Go follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I got $100 coming to one of y'all, man. Might do multiple people. I don't know. I don't know. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But we're doing a $100 giveaway either way, man, um, once we hit 1K. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Big Ron. Big Ron, keep doing your thing, bro. Uh, and subscribe to Santi TV. Um, they're out here, they're doing their thing, man, and, and they're grinding. They are grinding. You know, I've been sitting back watching y'all's videos. Like I said, I might not always comment all the time, but I'm there, man. Everything y'all post, I'm there, I'm on it, and I'm supporting y'all 100%, man. We gotta stick together, man. So, um, go check them out. Please go support them, subscribe to their channels. And uh, love y'all. I'll see y'all next go around. Peace.